Okay, you guys, let me fix you up a bit because you already know I am waking. You already saw my hair tutorial. I have my millionaire mug today because I made myself some Cuban coffee and I actually want to come to you. Hopefully, you can hear me uh, well. Okay, I have some really dedicated things that I want to speak with you about. As you know me, you know that I love to write. I have a book, uh, Balance and Illusions, What I Want versus What Wants Me. You can get that on Amazon and I'm not about to link that. Like if you really want it, you're gonna search for it and you're gonna find it. You know, so it's just, I did it for God, you know, and for those out there that would like my YouTube channel experience link with a book. You know something that they can just uh, put together and you know uh, be guided into my story so i just want to read some couple of things that i put together and hopefully um you guys can enjoy i don't even know if you can see but i'm having a blast y'all okay so we all want cash flow but do we all want work flow so i look like this pajamas relaxing not caring a fly about how long this video is going to take me because that's just who i am and you guys i feel like that's what you guys are going to enjoy more about me is just that freedom you know so let's get right into it you know i have no music on my video as of now so you know when i had these things and i put it together i edit you know not to get off track but it just makes more sense feels more a uh, harmonious perhaps but let me just get into it okay we want that cash the money the machine behind the business mommy and daddy to buy us our houses aunts and uncles to purchase our first cars but do we ever say, oh God, buy me that workflow? Do we ever say, oh God, buy me that workflow? So, yes, I'm going to be reading off my notes, but I also want to preach to you guys a bit. You know, I, for fun, you know, for fun, I want to talk about some topics here, even if I'm in my PJs and I have my hair like this and I look all cute let's talk and get down to business so but do we ever say oh god buy me that workflow i have questions so comment below you know your understanding on this because this is what's going to lead us to um the remaining of our philosophies for 2021 let me open up the blinds a bit just to get more light you know a little bit better you know that's lovely okay we want a mathematical equation without a variable so my mathematical equation is the cash flow versus the workflow okay so we want the cash flow the money coming in is a machine but the workflow is the piece that's missing the variable cash flow to me is money while you sleep it's a cloud to my dreams a pillow on my bed there are millions of YouTube ads content creators we all know we get on YouTube is like ad after ad oh FBA marketing oh Amazon oh uh, mastery courses oh this new clinic is opening up oh this new app people talking about buy this course and you'll make one hundred and fifty thousand dollars by six months learn this technique master this idea harness yourself and you will earn that is what these people are saying and you will earn so let me continue, let me continue, okay? Because, you know, it's not that these ads are negative. They're not. They could be an ad about Jesus Christ and, 
you can then be with a new congregation you can then see yourself talking to a other people that are spiritual you know that happened to me thanks to youtube right so they're not negative what i dislike about it is that i could be concentrating watching something informal then there's an ad and then i get distracted my concentration just i feel like it attacks sometimes you know like it attacks okay so learn this technique master this idea harness yourself and you will grow sorry you will earn right you will earn <sighs> let's move on I have a biblical view on life because I wake in the morning I open my Bible and I read numbers I study Moses God and the way he works you understand that I have a biblical view on life because I wake in the morning I open my Bible and read numbers I study Moses God and the way he works the way God works the way Moses was instructed right so understanding how God works helps us become better workers right adding to that workflow lifestyle to then create that cash flow that we all want okay workflow what is it <laughs> workflow what is it oh god now we're gonna get into it deep because workflow i hope you guys can hear me workflow can be devastating workflow can be exhausting workflow can be a lack of knowledge so let's get right right into it <sighs> workflow what is it i have here it's an elevation a life of conquering i own a business repair company as some of you know and if you don't know welcome to my channel i own a credit repair company it's called foria incorporated and i'm going to tell you guys more about it in the continuality of this video I love it y'all it's so nice I've had it since 2016 but then did I want that workflow like I do now do I want that workflow you know as a business owner let me get into it really really quick you need that piece of your equation because if you need to make the money if you want to make your business successful you need one piece for the other okay so did i want that cash that workflow like i do now the answer is maybe i was sacrificing myself for that that i didn't grow up in business credit funding what is it how do i obtain it well i make it right i have business credit funding as well as credit repair right those two a uh, pieces those puzzles that come together that can make me a multi-millionaire right a millionaire mug i know it's cute but seriously breaking boundaries like i'm gonna tell you guys more about it just keep watching the video like i'm gonna go really really in for what i'm what i'm saying Okay, so I'm sacrificing myself for that that I didn't go up in, you know, will I make it? Right? Then I didn't have that cash flow desire. So I maybe had that workflow, right? Because we all get taught to work. Teenager working at KFC, teenager, you know, at the cashier collecting the dough for them, right? So then i didn't have that cash flow back in 2016 i didn't understand what cash flow was i have that scream inside of me that says heaven no don't take my work away from me right almost five years later i continue to learn to harness myself to grow to train with god on my way to my divine destiny 
Okay, let's pause there. Okay, I can scream to the heavens and say, oh God, Father God, please don't take my work away from me just now, right? Like, I really, really love my job. I really, really love what I am doing. But am I screaming to the heavens? Oh God, please let me sleep. Let me wake up and have that cash flow. I wasn't. So some of us have one piece of this equation and then some of us are missing the other half, right? But then when it comes together, that could be mastery. That could be wellness. That could be a lot of beautiful things. A lot of beautiful things, right? So y'all know how that is like. It's infinite, right? We're talking about my divine destiny, my journey, my walk with the Lord. Have you guys watched my previous YouTube videos? I don't know. I'm, I'm getting low on those views. So you guys need to get up in there and watch them. Like 20 views, 78 subscribers. Come on, you guys. Half. Come on. <laughs> you can do it. Okay. But, you know, I'm chilling. This is This is amazing for me, you know. Almost five years later, talking about my business journey, right? Five years later, I continue to learn, to harness myself, to grow, to train with God on my way to my divine destiny. Y'all know how it is like. It's infinite. Remember, guys, I'm reading off of my uh, things that I'm writing because I flow easier. Jesus wants our goal to be eternal life right so i'm just starting off on my journey like you maybe and i need help with all of this right so please comment what eternal life means to you because i am on this journey and i could grow with your spark like me wondering what is eternal life right the goal jesus wants our goal to be eternal life to live on and on and on and on and forever and infinitely but can you teach me now that i am in life what that looks like what that is what that means you know do you have a key you know that can help me in my growth with jesus So please comment below. I know you guys lack on that too. Where are my comments? Like, why are you guys not commenting? Like, I'm just curious. Like, what's going on? Like, do you not want me to tell you? Because I won't. Like, if you're going to comment on your own without me saying one thing, I won't say it no more. I'll just let you, I'll just let you do whatever, right? Just comment, okay. So... Maybe you can give me that spark for me to grow. Like, sincerely, I just want to grow in Christ. I want to grow with Jesus. I just want to do me, you know. He wants that divine work ethic. What does work ethic mean to Claudia? Oh, I had to learn. My simple and fulfilling answer is love in capital L-O-V-E. Capital love, right? Love. I've been saying, grow in your self-care and your self-love. As soon as I say that, I instantly feel better, well, happy. Instantly. Claudia self-care. Claudia self-love. It's like I get that breath that, you know, is like chill, you know? That chill is that self-care, that self-love. The root of happiness is self-love. Okay, y'all. Let's add success to the equation because you remember we have a mathematical equation and without that variable equals failure. Okay. So, to be successful, you need to learn the other side. Failure. For oh so long, I was running or hiding from failure, but to see greatness... You need to hear what failure is talking to you about. Okay? I believe that greatness is sweet like honey, as wisdom is to our intellect. Since from where I outlook, it shines brighter 
meaning I want to seek it more, pursue it more, because failure has harnessed me, okay? Let's go from there. I believe that greatness is sweet like honey, as wisdom is to our intellect, since from where I outlook, you see me, I'm outlooking, it shines brighter, right? Meaning I want to seek it more, pursue it more, because failure has harnessed me. Because failure has harnessed me, I want to seek greatness, pursue greatness, because I can see it shining more. Let's go further, only one step further. Failure has harnessed me since I was born. I, right? Failure has harnessed me since I was born. Raised in poverty. Now, an immigrant in America. The land of the free or something like that. Then, boom. 2001, the Twin Towers collapsed. One year and seven months later when I arrived here. <sighs> One year and seven months later. As much as I wanted to live life free, joyous, happy, positive, I can now say as a grown up that that did affect me. Okay? It did affect me. But let me go on. To me, it's like God had me pass this line before things suddenly changed. So let me go on and talk about this, okay? I am an immigrant. I am traveling here from a country that's Cuba, as you know me. And people from my country cannot come to America without the government permission, without a relative seeking you out, you know? So I'm one of the few that comes to America legally, legally on a plane okay i make it to the united states of america and a year and seven months later 2001 happened the twin towers collapsed okay so writing this i learned something about myself that i have hidden fears as well because i never hated the muslim community for this attack you know i never i i don't hate a specific group of people i don't discriminate against black or white i as you can see me i look a mix right like you can't really tell where I'm from you can guess it but you'll never get it right okay so but I say that I have a free spirit a free spirit indeed because I harness or for lack of better word hold this hatred in my spirit since I was a child and I took and it took 20 years later for me to know this. Okay, so let me just kind of explain to you guys more of what I'm talking about. So I was a little girl, Twin Towers collapse. I'm minding my business. <laughs> but in school, as the years go on, they keep teaching us about the attack in New York City right so this healing you know my walk with Christ has opened me up in multiple ways to know like okay maybe that's why I want to go to New York so bad maybe that's because you guys know I was gonna go to New York for my last birthday but what happened the pandemic happened so what the Lord my Lord and Savior is doing for me is he's connecting my dots in life teaching me where to walk okay so 2021 twin towers collapse i've been in the united states a year and seven months brand new immigrant 
after that they probably had more stricter laws at the airport people probably could not come to america as easily right the enemies looked as a target sadly okay because you know you know that's what happened <sighs> growing up now i had this admiration for new york city i want to go to new york arts drama theater fashion music fame comes from there right a lot of big businesses stock market you know ambition comes from new york city right so i'm like ooh, like that's what i need to be i need to grow up there you know that and this no <laughs> like, he's like you're not going to new york city is your birthday pandemic is your birthday covid <laughs> like that's what happened that is what happened like then i could not go there so you know um okay so it took me right so i'm holding on to this thing from a child not knowing the doctrine of jesus christ not um really caring because i'm a little girl you know and it took 20 years later for me to know this 20 years later i'm talking to you clear 20 years later to know that inside of my spirit inside of my being that twin tower attack actually hurted me but not even knowing it so what i love to do is okay this hurted me for so many years now that i'm healed how is God going to open my eyes to let me live this life, right? Knowing that I was hurt by this attack, whether I didn't know it or not, right? Because you guys can use this for another example of something that happened in your life, right? Something devastated happened in your life. <sighs> now you, you were little, you didn't know that it hurted you or affected you then you understand it you can heal you can move on and say god my life is going to open up my life is going to prosper because now i have the knowledge that this hurted me that this affected me right right because our goal is to seek the kingdom of heaven right to seek the kingdom of heaven at least my goal is that right so if I want to seek the kingdom of heaven I want to be cured healed prepared ready intelligent beautiful smart clean you know um, taking care of self-care self-love a uh, biblically uh, just ready okay Let me keep reading to show you guys what else I'm talking about. <clears throat> okay. Sometimes we give our hearts to our workflow and for those young entrepreneurs that believe they're going to stay entrepreneurs forever and not prosper, to be those Shark Tank people that are well suited and rehearsed, no offense to them, I believe in you. We have to be the ones that cut it, that cut this here, that cut this here. Enough is enough. I know, I know, it sounds cliche, but let me say this, okay? I don't want to stay an entrepreneur forever like my goal in my life is to be a suited businesswoman like and I don't mean by clothing I mean by preparation I mean by life journey I mean by life motivation I mean by life just writing just wisdom just pain hurt all that it takes right but I want God to teach me because I don't want to sacrifice my well-being, my life, for nothing. So, 
you know, I feel, 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 feel so bad for those young entrepreneurs that are just hustling. First of all, you're hustling. You're making some dough. You're making some money. You're working for a job like myself that I used to work for a job. Okay, let's get serious. I used to work for a job that when you really add up the expenses, how much am I really profiting? Entrepreneurs that don't know the rules of business, you know, that don't know. Let me give you guys some things, you know, expenses, operating expenses that are not educated, that are not going to school to get this God-given pursuit to just come out, to meet them halfway, right? You have this God-given pursuit of business, yet you're not going, you're not getting educated. You're not getting educated, my friend, to let this pursuit just jump, right? To have someone hold you by the hand to say, okay, Claudia, you are a businesswoman, honey. You are starting from itty bitty, okay? Let's train you. Let's go to school and get a teacher that's been doing this for like 50 years. Let's get you a teacher that's been doing that for 20 years, right? Let's get you around other people like you that are itty bitty, honey. Beautiful, smart, intelligent, just ready, right? That are just starting off, that have the designing things, that, yes, they're designers, yes, they're poets, they're writers, yes, they're singers, yes, they're painters, yes, they're, they're, they're craftsmen and craftswomen. They have this craftsmanship, right? This craftswomanship, okay? Let me just say that, craftswomanship. Yes, they want to open up their first uh, uh, buildings, you know? I pray for you, brothers and sisters. You know, because I understand, like, this world is pressure. My Lord knows this. I can even talk about this in my prayers. Like, this world is nothing but pressure. Okay? So, how do you overcome this pressure that this earth is pressing on us? Knowing that you have a God-given purpose, a God-given talent, a God-given destination, a God-given journey, heart, love, wisdom, everything, right? You have everything. You have everything. So for one, talking about this, we can probably talk about how to overcome pressure. That's just for another philosophy video. So, you know, maybe I can create, well, I can't just create that. I have to live it. Like, I literally live it. Like, I have to live this pressure for you guys to come on here and talk about it sincerely. Like, this is how it is for me, right? So, sometimes we give our hearts to our workflow. And for those young entrepreneurs that believe they're going to stay entrepreneurs forever and not develop into, not prosper to be those shark tank people that are well suited and rehearsed no offense to them i claudia tino fernandez fomo believe in you we have to be the ones that cut it there okay i believe in you i believe in me i believe in me okay i want to keep going guys you know stick with me stay tuned <sighs> i got some things on my chest that I want to you know let free Betty from my church taught me that our history is very important my aunt Yamada has taught me that I am no better than anyone but no one is better than me I have a sweet love in my 20s that brings out this purity that's in my soul this horrendous past that Jesus heals me from absolutely every day I feared living more than I did living. I wonder how many people can connect with me on this topic. Like, some of us have been hurt, okay? And we fear, I fear living. I fear living more than I did dying. Like, living felt more like a pain than I did dying. 
like dying would be freedom compared to living you know so like i used to say to you guys i don't know if i ever mentioned this to you guys but i used to live my life backwards like backwards right so now i'm facing my life you know i'm facing my life and i'm walking straight i'm walking forward so all i can say is protect your children and that child let me say this can be the child inside of you that gives you meaning all day every day but you don't know how to love it right so some of you have children some of us don't okay i don't right and it's not a crime it's not nothing horrible to not have a child at 27 young still you know obviously a lot to grow into you know things that i just will never know until i get there right like parenting cool so some of us don't have children however we need to be the child to ourselves right like we need to love and protect ourselves as we are our own children so that can be the child inside of you that gives you meaning all day every day but you don't know how to love it you don't know how to love it balance that workflow so now i'm giving you guys some advice some advice <sighs> balance that workflow rest easy trust in him build your spirituality and just to go back a bit about you know attacks and such remember you guys we are on our divine destinies divine purposes right we need to figure out what god wants us to establish in our world so how many of y'all are living life with this terror inside by unlocking it you start to see world differently or you didn't even know you had this terror right now that is affecting you right affecting you but more efficiently more profoundly i should say affecting your our spirituality connection with god right how is this terror in your life affecting your connection with something higher with something like I have no words you know like for something that you can say father God I need this and by tomorrow he makes it happen father God heal me father God reveal to me father God talk to me that I, I guess you can say just a higher a higher man divine a higher divine you know so let me go on okay so balance that workflow rest easy trust in him build your spirituality even if you want to be okay now i'm getting into something <clears throat> let's go there even if you want to be a gardener you still need to rise with the sun every morning you need to know and learn about the fruit of your labor what I am saying here is the most simplest job like picking fruit for us to enjoy and buy and sell you gardeners we couldn't live without you you gardener we need your we need you to drink water like your plants we need you to stay safe and protect it and protect your limbs gardener so that you can walk through the strawberry fields to pluck that one strawberry that maybe i throw away when it lands on the kitchen counter poetically speaking is that we need you to we need you so healthy even for that one strawberry so 
I'm cooking in the kitchen. I got my cutting board. I'm cutting my strawberries. Maybe my cutting board is yay big. My strawberries are this big. I'm cutting and it's wet, so it slips. It falls on the kitchen counter. You know, I don't want to eat that strawberry. Now it's dirty, contaminated, contaminated. It falls on the floor for you, it slips or something. Oh, I gotta throw this in the trash. But this gardener has to wake up with the sun every morning to go and pick, pluck that strawberry for us to enjoy, buy, and sell. So we need that gardener. We need to stay connected, right, which is the next piece. But we need that gardener to stay healthy, to drink the water that it gives to its own plants, okay? So stay rested, workflow. Stay rested. Um, so poetically speaking is that we need you so healthy even for that one strawberry that one strawberry that I cut and fell on my kitchen counter that one strawberry that slipped it was wet and fell on the floor I have to pick it up right I'm not unplugging the fruit the same fruit that gardener plucked for me I'm doing it in the trash so this gardener needs to stay healthy even for that one strawberry okay Thank you for your support. We need to uplift one another. Let's not wait for God's fury. Let's not wait for another pandemic to understand that we are a massive connection. The world is a massive connection. Support. Did you hear what I say? Did you hear what I said? Let's not wait for another pandemic. Let's not wait for God's fury again. Let's not wait for another pandemic. Okay? And, okay, let's talk about it. You can say Satan created this pandemic. You can say God created this pandemic. Whatever it is, it wouldn't happen without God. Like, Whatever you want to call it, it would not pass God. So God, we can say he allowed it, he manifested it, whatever. But just know that the enemy has no power over God because God created it. So let's not wait on God's fury again. Okay? Let's not wait for another pandemic again to heal, to connect, to, to repair. Okay? Let's use this 2000 and what 19, 2020, 2021, going on two years, right? For this pandemic to be a ringer. So thank you for your support. We need to uplift one another. Let's not wait for God's fury, like I said. Let's not wait for another pandemic to understand. That we are a massive connection. So let's not wait for something so negatively to impact us, right? For us to say, oh, now we need to be connected. Oh, now we need to pray. Oh, this is my old lady face. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh, neighbor, let me go give you some fruits. I love you so much. I need you to stay alive. Because I can't live without you. Oh, God. I don't want my neighbor to die. We're going to all be all so lonely. All so alone. Oh, I need to get connected to, oh, God. No. Like, first of all, I'm sad at myself because I feel like I should have been had God in my life since that itty bitty little girl, right? And... The world is a massive connection. Support, uplift, cheer, excite, motivate, and guide each other. Like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, love yourself.